Hi guys, I'm just uh, doing a couple of things for this one today. I've just put this light guard on. Um, oh, fuck it. Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Just doing some work on the 30th anniversary of GS today. I'm just building it up to the same spec as my old one. Um, I bought a radiator guard, but it's not on yet. I haven't fitted it just yet, but I've just, I'm just fitted this light guard on it. As you can see, that stops the old headlight glass from breaking and everything else. But what I'm going to show you is, um, is this little gadget. Um, it's for the iPhone, basically. And because what I've done, I've upgraded and I've got an iPhone 5. So I've kept this one and I've um, unlocked it. And so I've used it for sat nav and music and phone calls and just about everything else. I mean, it's a great bit of kit. Why, why chuck it away or sell it cheap? You know, it does everything I need it to do. Um, but I just felt like an upgrade. Anyway, so I've got this, um, and the iPhone fits in it. It's completely waterproof. So you can take phone calls and all this sort of thing and everything else. And I'll show you a cheap, cheap way of wiring up. It's, there's probably a load of these things on, on eBay. Um, sorry. Start again, I'm an idiot on YouTube about this, um, but I thought I'd do my own one um, because it's a real cheap way of wiring up. You've your got your it's lighter got socket there for your CAN bus system. I'll just plug it in there. I've used up my other GS for, for donkey's years. All right, here we go, guys. I've taken the seat off. I'll just flip this off. I just keep some extra bits in there to, um, you know, charge the um, GoPro up and stuff like that. We'll flip this off. And um, here we go. All it is is one of those cheap cigarette lighters. I'll actually take it off and let you have a look at it. Right, here you are, guys. Um, there you go, as you can see. What it is is one of these cigarette lighters for USB. Um, they're a pound, basically. That's all they are. Um, then you need your... Um, your, your BMW plug socket. It goes in in there. I can't remember what it's bloody called now. Um, anyway, it's the the smaller ones. Just put a bit of silicon in there. That's all I did in that little bit there, just to stop the water getting in. Although I haven't done on my old one, and I hadn't had any trouble. Anyway, what you do, um, just two wires. You just wire up and solder um, onto the earth where it goes onto the sleeve when you you know put it in your car and stuff like that. And then you solder the other point onto the positive. So it's just two wires. Just solder it on. Wrap it round with some amalgamated tape and, and a bit of tie rack. It, it, you know, it doesn't look pretty, but, you know, it's just to stop the water getting in. If water does get behind there, slot it in there and just plug it into your lighter. And then all you do is get a two metre length of um, USP, 30 pin... Um, on your iPhone and just wire it through and just um, connect it up. And just connect it up to there, look. Job done. Shove it in there, it's done. So when you turn your your key, um, it powers this. Um, let's just there you go, guys. Uh, the iPhone is in there. Sorted. There you go. Waterproof. Swing it around any way you like. And um, job done. All right, guys, before anyone asks me, this is called A R M O R X. So it's probably Armor X. Um, it just slots in there like that, and you can turn it all directions you like. Push that little button in, slide it off, and it just comes off. It was reasonably cheap, but it's 100% um, waterproof. Um, but it wasn't wired up so you can um, power it all the time. It was um, just completely a waterproof case. So what I've done to adapt it... Sorry now. I'm trying to do everything one-handed. Oh my God. Right. 
sorry about this bad video. Oh, just it's just bloody cold today, and uh, quite frankly, <laughs> um, let's get on with it. Right um, now, what I've had to do is, if you can see that, I'll get close as I possibly can. You have to get a needle file and just file that through just so the cable will just slot in it but do it with a needle file so that it doesn't destroy this rubber seal and then file it back right round there like that so when you put the cable in I'll show you right when you put the cable in it fits like that look really tight in that rubber and it also when you put it oh my god right and when you put it <laughs> when you close it like that it actually fits right round like that can you see and believe it or not it's still waterproof i've had it underneath um a foot of water in 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 the sink so um and it still didn't leak um so there you go that's completely waterproof um, <laughs> I might have to do this whole video again doing everything one-handed I'm just a great tosser right there you go anyway so you see how tight that fits and you just pull it out so it's really tight now needle file all the way around carefully do it though and then you've got a waterproof case oh my god what performance um, anyway I hope you guys um, find it somewhat useful. Um, <laughs> oh dear. So the whole thing cost me, oh, I don't know, a, a pound for that. And actually that was only 99 pence from, from eBay. Um, and just the cover, I can't remember what it cost, 20 quid or something. And you're done. You're able to use your phone. Um, because I've got one of those Bluetooth things that fit on your helmet so I can receive phone calls, I can listen to my music, I can make phone calls. Um, great bit of kit. Um, quite a cheap one as well. Um, quite impressed with that. I might show you a quick clip of that All as right, well. There you go guys. Um, there's the SMH5 headset I've just got by Senna. Bluetooth one that should uh, work with the iPhone. Well I know it does because I've been using it on the scooter. So there you go and um, I apologise again for this whole video. It's been a right mess up. But never mind, any questions please uh, please ask. Oh sorry about that poor video guys. It's just too cold. Even when I was doing that video it started to snow again. So I've tucked them back to bed and I'm going in the house to have a cup of tea. I'm too cold. Catch you later.